I'm here from Pax8 again, Magic, and I'm here with Ricardo. And Ricardo is an MSP that is already on a path to become an MIP. I found a guy like that, which is ahead of everybody else. Ricardo, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, Ricardo van Katwijk, 36 years old from uh, Rotterdam. Uh, it's, a, it's a big town in Holland. Uh, we are a managed service provider since uh, six or seven years now. We, are, uh, we didn't have any legacy. So, so that's nice for us. We just worked, uh, we started in the cloud uh, and we were unique the last five years because we were almost the only one who worked only in the cloud. We didn't like legacy and focused cloud. That was the important thing. The next five years, we want to be unique for the next, uh, we want to be unique for the next five years. So we thought, what do we need to do? We need to change and we need to focus on AI and agentic AI. How can we make something different and be one of the first who adopt agentic AI and and this and this this came from where did you look for the for the inspirations how how did you look for a path to become this AI enabled MSP it's a it's a journey um, it's difficult I think it's a lot of trial and error uh, but I spoke with some uh, some trusted advisors. Uh, it's uh, something. Uh, uh, one of them is uh, Harold Nuif from Pax8, or Eric Mink, or Nick Heddy last week. Uh, so there are some people who can help you and who can trigger you where you need to go, Richard. So you've been you've been working with Pax8 on the, on the journey on developing the future strategy for your company. Yes, that's right. Since uh, since day one, they are with me. So uh, I was a customer since it was Resello in Holland. It was acquired by Pax8, and then they they started the journey together to to make us be- bigger and better. Okay, how big is your company today? Uh, we are now with 35 employees. Uh, most of people live in uh, live in Rotterdam, but uh, our clients are from uh, yes uh, in the, in the wall of the Netherlands. All, all parts of the Netherlands, there are clients of us. And how many people are salespeople in your organization? Technical people? Do you have a good split like that? We have just two salespeople, so so I I sell the most things, and I have one other one other guy who uh, who sells some things. Um, mostly we are just technic- uh, technicians. We just have engineers, uh, one HR, one one administration, but that's it. Just technic- uh, technical people. So you are the hardcore MSP, the kind of a typical typical MSP company, and now you are planning this kind of a expansion or transformation into the AI future. How are you planning to do that? Um, as I said, it's, it's, it's a journey. So, so we don't know if we do the right things because it's a trial and error mode. Sometimes you fall, sometimes you think, oh, I need to do it like this way. And, um, but the, mo- the most important thing is how can we change mind of our employees? How can we change mind of our customers? And how can we automate their processes uh, to to give them some feeling with AI and to be more productive and more efficient in their in their work and um, yes yes we, we try to do it by uh, data analytics uh, first we have to check data and processes then we can check okay what's possible what 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 can we automate what can we out, uh, optimize and then we can make the next step and if that's possible for you and your your company or your or your client they are uh, our client for the next 10 or 15 years. You say that you have to change the mind of your employees. What exactly does it mean? Um, we, are, we are good technic- technical people. We are really good in what we do. We, we know anything or everything uh, yeah, about the cloud. But we are IT technicals, uh, technical engineers and we, we have an IT mindset. And that's something different than a business consulting mindset because uh, we need to be more uh, a business consultant for our clients than just the IT engineer who, who fix your problems like like that. So so have, we have to solve uh, solve other problems than just an IT problem. We have to solve um, we have to solve a change, a process, which costs many time or much time. We have to solve that kind of problems, and the difficult to transform from. IT engineer to AI engineer or business consultant is a big step. And that's why we need Pax8, Microsoft to help us to change their mind in 
oh, what do we need to change as person? Uh, maybe you are not the person for, for business consultancy. Maybe you're not the good person for AI, but that's also okay. And then we need to hire other people, other, other skills to, me, to make the next, the next step. So it's going to be a big skill set change, you know, because today, if your company is extremely good at technical stuff or as a VAR or reseller, you're excellent at selling, Ricardo, and I agree with, with Ricardo 100%, you know that because I spoke about this so many times, you will need the business consulting skills going forward into the future, into the managed intelligence provider world. Yeah, that's right. We have to, cha we have to change them and we have to make a path from, uh, from the first step, like uh, I'm an IT technician, where can I change my mind or what can I do better to be uh, the trusted advisor for, for my partners? And uh, that's why we work with uh, service, uh, service management reports and they can tell them, okay, uh, this kind of processes cost a lot of time. Uh, this is what we want to change for you or this, one, this is what we want to optimize. So they can make the first steps to talk with their clients and help their clients. Do you already have successes and any, any examples where you were able to deploy this kind of a business process improvement situation at a customer? Uh, yes, we have. We, um, we, work, we work a lot for law firms and they have many, many data or many, many letters from, from uh, tech services, from, uh, from uh, other kind of offices and um, they have to do many steps before they get a signature of the of the client or, or the customer so we transform them and we optimize their process from getting a letter at the office uh, save it in your in in the right folder send it to the customer ask for their signature ask the uh, ask the lawyer for a signature you can change that process and you can make it uh, you can you can optimize it and out, uh, make it automate, uh, automated. Okay. So you have deployed agentic AI into the law firms yeah. in the Netherlands? Yes, that's right. This is brilliant because law seems to be like the area where people will be very careful about sharing the data and maybe, you know, a, a little bit of resistance to the new ideas. Yeah, but I think, um, in, my, in my opinion, um, the lawyers now are one of the most innovative people in um, yeah, in the Netherlands or in or in EMEA, because they know we have to be on front of this journey. So they have they all have innovate innovation teams and check how we can optimize our work, how we can get all all uh, information because they have information uh, of years. The the law, so they have information from 30 years. They have to find the right thing in that in that 30 years. To get to win this uh, to win the case so they're good they they are focused and they they will be the best i think with uh, with ai so they are already innovating so you're seeing that this this segment is already innovating any other ideas that you have uh, any other kind of a directions that you are working on yes I, I work in finance sector i work in industries uh and in law firms uh, next to that uh healthcare um, also but um there are so many possibilities in AI because you, uh, in every company, you have maybe 100 or more processes you can optimize or you can you can make an agent for it. So, so there are so much, uh, there are so many things possible right now. Ricardo, <coughs> so you've been inspired and you worked with Eric from Pax8 and a few other folks. What do you think about Pax8 Beyond, about the event that we are at? Did you learn anything new, interesting here? Um, I talked with some people, in my opinion, um, we talked about another conference, I don't say the name because, uh, <laughs> to, be, to be honest, um, but this event is about knowledge, how we can make the next step with each other. Other conferences are for, uh, can, you sell, can, can you buy my product please? And that's a big difference, so you can learn here a lot of things, uh, but next to that you can uh, network with all kind of people and you can learn so much so many people in this in this area and that's nice you can help each other and grow with each other any any particular you know uh, keynote or session that's that was really interesting for you uh in my opinion the the keynote on monday 
Oh no, no, it's it's also on Tuesday about uh, about uh, agent stores, how we can uh, monetize or publish agents. Uh, that's really important for us because uh, we don't know how to monetize yet. Nobody nobody knows, and uh, Backstage can help us to monetize our agents and to optimize our work because we are all good in cloud infrastructures but we don't know how to monetize agents right now. So that's what they what they told us and that's where they can help us with. Ricardo, thank you so much. I, I, I was so happy to, to bump into you and, uh, and your friend, you know, at the breakfast yesterday. And when you started to tell me how you're transforming your company, what are your thoughts? How are you planning to change the, the you know, a, kind of a, ride the, the the trend of the market i was extremely impressed and thanks for jumping with me on the quick discussion and sharing your vision and your thoughts for the company yes thank you for invitation thank you